Thank you for staying with us. Now to that breaking news we t brought to you earlier on. There's a lodge that has been, that is owned by an Italian in Laikipia Conservancy that has been raised by illegal grazers and the attack is believed to be a retaliation against security operation in the area. Well, we're getting the lodge owner. She's called Cookie Goldman on phone in just a bit just to give us a perspective of what's really happening there on the ground right now. It's a trying time for them because there's a lot of panic on the ground right now. Cookie Goldman yeah. joins us on phone. Cookie, uh, if you can hear me very well, what's happening right now? Uh, at this moment, we are under attack. Yes. We've been shot at. My daughter's house has been shot at. And there are many uh, young uh, Pokot from Malasu and Amaya mostly, but not only, mm -hmm. who have decided to attack the conservancy. Uh, and have you been able to get any sort of help? Have you called for backup? Is there any police the government force? At this moment, they are coming to our help. Yeah. Uh, they were here a um, few days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, the, this area was declared as a dangerous area uh, with a Gazette statement on the 7th of March. Yeah. Uh, that was... Excuse me? All right. Okay, Cookie, if you're still with us, when was the Conservancy uh, attacked? The Conservancy is under attack as I'm talking to you. When did the, they attack? They burned our best lodge to the ground. Okay, Cookie, there's been, there's been allegations. Has there been any efforts to reach an amicable solution in terms of grazing fields? No, because sorry. that's one of the things that it's they've been talking about. Line because I'm in the middle of the bush. Cookie, I'll repeat that again. Has there been any amicable solutions in terms of getting to an amicable solution for grazing land? Because there's been a bit of issues with that. It is not about grazing land. It is about uh, expansionism on the boundary. Okay. If it was grazing land, they would not need to kill animals, slaughter wildlife, yeah. and attack people. It would be a matter of talking. We have grazing land for the community in our northeastern corner but they are coming from all over the place and also that is uh, actually the the situation as it is the government has, has sent their uh, security forces as a result of what's happening mugi in sozian yeah in suyan and now they are coming to us this is simply part of the same story Okay, as we speak, as we know, and you've rightfully said, is that there is an operation going on as we speak. Do you see government personnel in your ranch? There is an operation that has been going on for the last few days, yes. So do you have security as we speak guarding over the ranch? Sorry, I can't hear you very well. Do I you have me? security personnel guarding over the ranch as we yes, speak? at this moment in time, the security personnel is actually here. So has it been helpful to have the security operation there because the allegations that this is a retaliation over the same operation? Well, you know, uh, this is beyond me to reply to this question mm -hmm. because uh, when you, there is a gazette that declaring an area is dangerous, then this area, that is up to the government to take the precaution that they think fit for uh, curbing the situation. This is not up to the individual. All right. Uh, what happened in Baringo with the killing of the MCA and... And it's part, it's part of the same situation. In, in Baringo, some people were killed. In Marigat, some people were killed. And, uh, and uh, it, as a result of that, there was a security operation, too, uh, for disarmament. Uh, because there are too many weapons in the wrong hands and, uh, and not in the, in, the, in the government's hands. So the government decided, with good reason, to start a, to start a security operation. All right, Cookie, try and keep safe. We'll let you go because it's a trying time for Cookie right now. They're still under attack as we speak. And like she says, her daughter has been shot at. The others are apparently retaliating against the same security operation that was actually in that place because it was declared a danger zone. She said that her daughter has been shot at and that the, the ranch has been raised to the ground. But so far, there's still security personnel on the ground. We'll get back to her in case when she stables down because right now they're still under attack.